Welcome back to another episode of Good Time Bikes, sponsored by Richards Bicycles. And today is the day that I ride this 1966 Stingray down a hill at 40 miles an hour. I'm out here today, for me, basically the middle of nowhere, as perhaps you can kind of tell, I'm out here by Starved Rock, which that's pretty far from me, about two hours west of Chicago. But this bike has come a long way since it was all rusty, crusty, and decades of neglect. If you haven't seen those videos, I got a bunch of episodes on the whole restoration of that bike, so you can go back and check those out if you haven't already. Anyway, it took me a little while to find a road that I can do 40 on on a Stingray with 20 inch wheels, but I think I got it. I test rode my 95 Schwinn Moab down this hill, and it actually is a road that kind of twists and turns, and then it tees off at another road. So I'm gonna have to be heavy on the brakes really fast. And when I test rode this about 20 minutes ago, I hit 39 miles an hour on it, and that's without pedaling. So hopefully I'll be able to hit 40 on that one. I think I can do it, but I'm really gonna have to be heavy on the brakes towards the end of the hill. And you're probably wondering how I'm gonna track my speed. Well, I have an app on my phone that's called Speedometer, and I tested it up against my truck, and it's spot on. So I'm gonna put my phone in a phone holder. That phone holder is going to be attached to the handlebars, so I'll know exactly how fast I'm going the whole time, and I'm going to screen record that as well. And of course, I can't do this without a helmet. And who was big back in the 1960s? because this is a 66 Stingray, Evil Knievel. So I had to go with an Evil Knievel helmet, of course. <laughs> well, let me bring in a little closer so I can show you the setup I'm gonna do with the Stingray, and then we'll get this show on the road. Okay, let me bring in a little closer so you know my exact setup on the Stingray. Obviously, there's the phone holder, so I know exactly how fast I'm going at all times. Here's the GoPro mount. That's zip tied to the sissy bar with a ton of zip ties. And as you can see, I'm running brand new tires. But I also like to point out, you see those? Those are vintage brake pads. <laughs> ah, it'll be fine, I think. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills, because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. Let's do this. Okay, let's give this another go. I actually overinflated my tires. I'm trying to get this 
last one mile per hour. I overinflated the tires about 10, 15 pounds each, which is breaking rules in my book, but I gotta get this. 16, 18, God help me if this blows, 25. Twenty nine, thirty, thirty two, thirty two. Nope, thirty nine. Uh, I think that was thirty eight miles an hour that time. I don't know if I'm going to give it another try. That was three attempts now. I've been out here for hours now and I haven't eaten. And you know when you haven't eaten in a while, you start to get shaky. And that is not very good for doing 40 miles an hour on a Stingray. I got to give it another try. I'll be back at the top. See you in a bit. All right, this is my fourth attempt now. Let's see if I can make this happen. Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, thirty, thirty two. 38, come on, 39, no, no, oh, I wonder if I'm not hitting it because my phone's running slow, and actually, you know what, I got to give a different app a try, I'm going to try map my ride, just to see if I can make some sort of difference, I'll give this another go again. Okay, this is my fifth attempt, and I'm going to be using Met My Ride this time. See if that makes a difference. Not even close. That app isn't half as responsive as the other one. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to the top and I'm gonna think, see what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm into my sixth attempt now. Gonna give this one last try here. 21, 29, 37, 37. <laughs> Listen to those 50 year old brake pads at work. I only got 38 on that one. Looks like it's not gonna happen on this. On, excuse me. Looks like it's not gonna happen on this bike today. Not on this hill anyway. And I'm running out of daylight. And most importantly, my cameras are dying. I even had one camera drop dead because of heat stroke. <laughs> so I had to give it a break. All right. I'm headed back to the top. Okay, this is the weirdest feeling ever, going from a Stingray to a 
95 Schwinn Moab. It's the anniversary edition, by the way. 100 years. This is super weird feeling, but I want to hit 40 on something, so this will do it. 22. 26. 30. 41, there we go. All the brakes. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. It's been a long day trying to get a Stingray up to 40 miles an hour, but whew, I'll take 42 on a 26 inch mountain bike. Not bad. Okay, so let's talk about what happened. I've been up and down that hill, I think six, seven times. Uh, I guess I couldn't get that Stingray to 40 miles an hour, unfortunately. 39 miles an hour, that's the best I could do on this hill anyway. And being that I live in Illinois, it's awfully flat and there aren't very many hills. I drove about an hour and a half to get here, but I did the best I could scouting out the unknown territory that I'm in. Uh, but it was satisfying to hit uh, 41, 42, whatever it was on my uh, uh, 95 Moab, 26 inch mountain bike going that fast. That was pretty fun. Uh, a whole lot more stable than the Stingray, I'll say, that's for sure. Because on the Stingray, it's a solid bike, there's no doubt about that. But at speeds of 39 miles an hour, uh, upper 30s, the Stingray definitely gets to be, well, every flex in the frame, uh, every little bump in the road, the steel wheels that are not perfect because they're steel wheels, they never were perfect, that's all amplified when you're in the high 30s. And you can feel that, you, you can feel that uh, amplification for sure. All the flex in the frame and every little bump in the road, it makes a big difference. And so long as I didn't make any severe turns, uh, really just kept the handlebars still. I could curve, I could go through the curves no problem, uh, but so long as I didn't like move the handlebars too fast one way or another, uh, I, I wasn't worried about much of anything at all. I was, felt pretty safe actually. But once I got tucked down, uh, I noticed that uh, it seems like I picked up a little bit of speed because when you're kind of sitting upright like this, you're almost like a parachute slowing yourself down. But it was a lot of fun to get that uh, old Stingray from something that was rusted and just completely neglected uh, to something that is cruising down a hill at 39 miles an hour. <laughs> and boy, did I want to hit 40. I tried. I tried six times on the Stingray, and then the seventh time I took the, uh, the mountain bike out. But it's still been a great day, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep watching Good Time Bikes, sponsored by Richard's Bicycles. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.